sent me the link. Oh yes, we're back. Yeah, you got the link. So we was in here just jamming, talking, clicking, all that. I just made that up. Flicking? Yeah, I just made, I just made that up. <laughs> you know, I have a, I have a nice kind of... Flicking through the... I'm flicking through the picture, you know, taking pictures and stuff. Flicking and flicking. Okay, that's the word. I just made it up. All right. It's copyrighted. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, man. <laughs> just kidding. No, so, um, okay. We are here with the ladies of Prime Rehab. Well, the website is prime rehab dot nyc but yeah. the company is prime is it pp prime physique prime physique physical therapy okay, okay. prime physique physical Damn. therapy <laughs> so what i'm gonna let you do is introduce yourself just talk into the mic don't be afraid <laughs> speak up nice and loud and clear okay. so the people can hear you all right good evening everybody my name is dr karen thornellen with prime physique physical therapy and I'm a physical therapist in New York. I've been practicing for uh, almost 10 years. And I work with adults, I work with kids, I'm passionate about health and fitness and really trying to get our community up and moving and staying out the emergency room. Okay. Okay. She's very soft spoken. Sorry. <laughs> I was speaking loud. She ain't loud like me. She ain't loud like me. <laughs> no, but I get it. Yeah, so the listeners there, um, they text me while I'm on air, so they can't hear you. Uh, so they can't hear me? All yeah. right. So well, once up. again, okay. Dr. Karen Thurnell with Prime Ooh. Physique Physical Therapy. Uh-huh. Physical therapist in, uh, from New York, from Brooklyn, actually. To Brooklyn, be exact. okay. Brooklyn in the house. Um, I got a better text, it's better. Okay. All right, all right. Good. Oh, better. All right, so I've been practicing for several years in New York and also in Georgia and working with adults and kids and really trying to get our community up and moving and staying healthy and staying fit and just taking charge of your life. Very perfect, nice. perfect, perfect. And I'm not even going to attempt because I'm not doing with names, so I'm just going <laughs> to let her say her name again. Uh, my name is Dr. Hecker. Um, okay, my first name is Shika. Most people know me by Shika uh, when I treat. And uh, I've been a physical therapist for since 2006 and working with the same population like adults and peds, uh, pediatrics. And right now, we, uh, Dr. Karen and I, both have um, teamed up just to focus on a lot on children's fitness and just getting them moving. And uh, most of my cases now I treat are pediatric cases, just um, on all type of spectrums from autism, Down syndrome, um, everything from broken bones to uh, birth defects and stuff like that. So Mm. we just get like a a wide range of different cases, but we decided to make our services available to not to everyone who has a diagnosis or no diagnosis, just wants to be moving. And so that's something that we'll touch on a little bit. That's cool. So how we got started. Yeah, so that was my next question. So, um, okay, how long did it take you to go to school? Because I know, like, the schooling alone (laughs) was kind of like, I don't know. I don't don't know if I could tell it. No, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me when I decided to be a doctor. I I thought about it, but I was like, you gotta go to school for like 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> like, so how little long? Less, little yeah, no, I'm just kidding. So, how long did you guys go to school? And where did you go to school? Okay. All right, so I, my undergrad, I did at City College, and that's obviously the typical four years. And then I taught for a year um, at a high school in Brooklyn. I taught health and. Um, what high school do you mind me asking? Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. boy. All right. All right. Brooklyn, you got to practice it. Yeah, so I, taught, I, taught, I taught Clara Barton High School. Wow. Shout out to Clara Barton on the outside. Shout out to Clara right. Barton on Franklin Avenue. Right. Actually, no, it's not on Franklin. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Class it's on class. Class in Avenue. That's right. East of Park. Everybody used to park. Yeah, by mm-hmm. the park. Exactly. By the museum. And after that, doing that for a year, mm-hmm. I decided to go back to my passion, which is uh, medicine and health and, and, and fitness. And instead of becoming a surgeon, I just said, you know what, I like health, I like fitness, so let me go and become a physical therapist. I felt like I have more of an impact 
No offense to surgeons. Right. I love my surgeons. Yes. They bring us business. <laughs> yeah. um, just a different approach. So I did, I went to NYU. Mm-hmm. And I was there for Cha Ching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, yeah, more fire. <laughs> more fire. <laughs> Three and a half years at NYU. Um, and then started practicing. So, um, you know, did okay. Um now you were talking about the children and I know that you have a program over the weekend is it only on the weekend well the child the prime prime kids program um is only on saturday mornings we offer it we treat throughout the week adults and peds um she could mostly focus on peds just for right now i choose sorry to stop you for people who don't know what peds oh, mean pediatric pediatric population um is the prime kids program and we started it i'm a mom of four yeah. and um the push was really servicing parents such as myself who are who have children who are either on the spectrum, who, whose child is overweight, who just has asthma, needs to be able to climb up a flight of stairs, just really needs to get out and move, but who doesn't, who's not receiving the services either by Department of Education or if there's a lack of insurance, uh, whatever the case, they want to get their child moving. So we started the Prime Kids program. It's on Saturday mornings. And we work, we focus on fitness, coordination, balance issues, um, as well as yoga and mm-hmm. breathing exercises. Okay, what time is that? 11 o'clock. Okay, that's not too early. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 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 They're having children. I'm, I'm sorry. 425 Rogers Avenue. Oh, yeah, between where and where? Corner left. It's Corner left. and oh, yeah. Rogers okay, Avenue. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. That's like, that's like the area's like, what is this? Evansville yeah, area, Crown Heights. It's in between Flatbush, Crown Heights. All right, couple people. Okay. Calm down. Look, like, every time we get Brooklyn in the house, Patient yeah, Lover, yeah, I don't yeah, know how to act. Y'all hear that, Brooklyn? Y'all hear that, people? Rogers Avenue, Rogers Avenue, Sorry, Rogers Avenue. Jeez, all right, let's bring it back. Okay, <laughs> we know it's Brooklyn. Brooklyn okay. in the house. Matter of oh. fact, let me give the number again, um, just in case anybody wants to call. Um, it's 877 760 1422. If you have any questions, you want to give a shout out, uh, you want to comment on any of the set it off moments that I mentioned earlier. Uh, you can call it. Okay, because, yeah, that was a lot. Um, so, I also know... That, okay, well, let me ask this, because insurance. Do you take everybody's insurance? I just I have to ask. I do accept most insurance. She is also in the process of uh, right. enrolling in a lot of insurance plans as well. I take uh, workers' comp. I take union um, Oh, you take workers' comp? And several, and several unions, workers' oh, comp, okay. no fault. Cash is always appreciated <laughs> as well. You know, um, I do. We do work out. <laughs> but the children's fitness. But the children's fitness program, Prime Kids, is yeah. not um, based on insurance. It's um, is it a cash? Free, it's a post oh, cash. We do have free sessions coming around. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but uh, yeah, people like free. Okay. People like free. <laughs> We've had free sessions before. We will bring it back as well. Okay. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, so what I wanted to say, if you have questions about pricing, just call in. Right. Mm. Right. True. Okay. True. 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 Call. Call, call where? Call, call right here. Go to the website. Call, call, website. call, call here, or call you here. can say okay. You can call into the station, or you can uh, check email. out the website or email eight seven 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 six zero one four two two. You right. can call, and they'll uh, you know tell you that. Okay. So now um, the question also. I, you, you guys do a lot. How much staff do you have? I mean, because it seems, I'm looking at your website. Mm-hmm. Um, again, that's Prime Rehab and that NYC. So you got a lot going on here. Oh, so busy woman. I can see that. So I'm trying to figure out how do you do this all? Is it, oh, I know it's, it can't be a one woman thing. Well, Prime Kids is a two woman thing. Right. But so it's mostly we work. We work individually during the week. So okay. we're very busy. We do home care. Karen has her clinic. I'm at different clinics as well. 
And then on the weekend, Saturdays, we come together and we combine our techniques and everything and do it all for the kids. But other than that, we both work individually during the week. Oh, okay. So what you see as prime physique, per se, um, if you're coming to me between Monday through Friday, it's, yeah, pretty much all one, one, it's all one woman's show. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty much, you pretty much run your business. Not only own your business. Women's month. Yes, that's it. Yes, wow. I do. Yes, I do. It's, it's all me. I do have staff. I do have an uh, assistant. I do have interns. I actually take. Okay. Um, I actually am taking on a new intern from NYU um, as well. Okay. And I have a high school um, former athlete who also works with me as an okay. intern and trying to educate him and who also wants to be a physical therapist. But oh, in terms good. of as a main provider, that's myself and owner. So um, if I wanted to intern with you, what do I have to do? Because that's a great experience for right. um, college you know, kids. Right, right. You know, they get, they, they get credit, I guess, right? For, um, do they get credit? Or is it just It the depends kids? on the school program. It depends. Some students, um, some students that have come to me in the past, I always inform them you bring if you have a doc uh, form to fill out by that your guidance counselor gives you or your advisor gives you that I work with the school directly and making sure you get your credits accordingly. Um, okay. This the student that I have now who's very proactive, very intelligent young man. He literally kicked me off the streets. Doesn't mean everybody come off the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> something about him and his dedication. I, you know, we, I, I worked with him, and that's just something that uh, I did for him, and he eventually hopes to join the team officially and continue to intern as he goes to college. Hmm. Okay. But if someone wants to intern, they would have to contact the uh, contact me directly. You get all my contact information through the website. You can also call the office. I. I yeah, you can go three four seven four zero six five four zero zero, and I will work with you as long as you're you know dedicated and hard hard work. And I I am tolerant, but I don't have tolerance for uh, for yeah folks who don't want to do for themselves. Mm. <laughs> Lack of attendance is a big thing. Speaking, yes. Speaking of which, this kind of ties into um, well, this definitely ties into our topic. As far as are the kids of today a lost cause? <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this, but why don't I get your opinion on that? What do you think? And, and the reason I'm bringing that up, or the reason I came up with the topic, is because the whole McDonald's brawl thing that happened in Brooklyn. Um, for the people who don't know, um, we do have listeners outside of the New York area. So... There was a situation in the McDonald's. Was it on church? It was on oh, Flatbush. 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 Okay, so <laughs> look, here we go. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> so there was a, a fight, and basically, <laughs> I was disgusted while I, I watched this girl, fifteen-year-old yeah. girl, um, had an altercation with one other young lady, but then it was like six girls on one. Mm -hmm. They pummeled her, they beat her senseless, basically. And the thing that kind of sickened me more is everybody's standing around, um, so you had time to videotape the whole thing, but did anybody have time to call the pup pup? No. <laughs> is what it's I would sad. like to know. It's just sad. So I, um, you know, from what the reports were saying, uh, the McDo because I was saying that the McDonald's manager, somebody mm -hmm. should call the police, but come to find out they actually did call and they called twice. Mm. So, um, apparently they didn't show up and, you know, they didn't really show up that quickly. Mm. Um, and then it was like, you know, the thing that bothered me more is once the girl was on the floor pretty much unconscious, the other one just kept like kicking yeah. her in her head and kicking her and kicking her. And it was the, the, the young males, I guess around the same age, were the ones who stopped it. Mm. But there were adults in the establishment and nobody like stepped in. So I just don't understand. Is it that serious? Like, and where the parents and all of this is, I just, I don't, under, I don't understand. So 
I don't know, maybe you want to shed some light on that? Or what is your opinion on that? I mean, well, <laughs> to answer the question, are the kids, children today a lost cause? I, no. You know, I don't, I don't believe that they are. However, how do we get back to the core values that create this? You know, professionals, you're doing what you're doing, I'm doing what... I don't know. There's no recipe for how to raise children. Right. As a mom, as a woman, watching that, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'm at a loss for words. It, it was disgusting. Mm -hmm. It was heartbreaking as an African-American woman, you know, excuse me, as, as a Caribbean woman, mm -hmm. because these were Caribbean children of Caribbean descent. Mm -hmm. And I say this, and I know some Caribbean folks won't like me bringing that up, but at the end of the day, we came here, and our parents came here, fighting to get visas to stay here, mm -hmm. work our jobs mm -hmm. to put us through school, to be here. And that's how you repent? Mm -hmm. that, that's, just, that's just crazy. To me, it was a waste of time mm -hmm. going to the immigration offices, mm -hmm. and filling out all these, you know, <laughs> I just all think the paperwork. all the paperwork. I, I don't know. That, but the children are not a lost cause, but I think we need to, instead of videotaping and posting stuff on YouTube and on Instagram and posting people fighting. And world star. And, world, and all of <laughs> and that. And YouTube. And, yeah. Why don't we use that same internet to find out the resources that are available for your child to learn how to read, to learn how to you know, move and exercise and to contribute to society and to not forget to that society to yourself. Because mm -hmm. if you can't contribute to yourself, then you're trying to help someone else. I just feel like we, our children and us as adults are so focused on becoming this 15 minute star on mm -hmm. social media and not thinking about tomorrow. Right. You know, we depend on the government, we depend on some of us, not all, but many people depend on other people to lift them up and help them out and put them on. You know, put me on, put me down, let me be down. But what are you contributing? You know, so yeah. I can go on and on, but um, it was really heartbreaking as a, as, a, as a black woman just watching that. It definitely I mean, was. It, I don't even know how to define it. It's disgusting. I've seen fights growing up, but that was just like... Right. It was way know, too much. It was... Right. Lack of value for human and life. And it's the, it's the, all, the under, all the individuals around that's just watching somebody. Watching like, you don't feel sorry for someone. Yeah, it's like no kind of sympathy. Remorse, it's that's gone. For you for your life. And it's because I think that children need to be taught things earlier on. They need to see group... The stuff that we work on, like community, working as a partner, you know, when your when your friend falls on the ground because they trip, don't laugh. Go to help them and pick them up. I'm sorry, stuff I'm like laugh. that. Sorry. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, don't talk about me. I'm laughing. Sorry. I remember we're laughing. Don't let me up at the same time. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Are you okay? Well, yeah. I'll make sure you're all right. But, but it you know. starts. You'll see, yeah. like, it starts. You got to, like, plant the seed early. Even if maybe you don't, you know, nourish it, flourish it, water it. But you need to at least plant the seed so that they have a conscious mind of this is the right thing to do versus this is what my friends will accept. But these days, they just do what, you know, their friends think is hot, what's yeah. popping, right. how many likes are on Instagram, oh, yeah. the likes, this and that. Yes. So, the I mean, <laughs> just the, the, the whole concept of what's right and what's wrong, it's just changed right now. Definitely has. Again, um, to the listeners, the phone number is 877-760-1422 if you want to chime in on what we're talking about. Um, also, you know, I'm not knocking the parents, but in a way... I'm just trying to figure out, you know, nowadays with the technology, and we kind of touched on this before, um, it's like parents are working, everybody has to work, so it's like the TV is raising your child, you know, iPads, iPads the social yeah. media, um, and it, things get glorified that really shouldn't. Right. right. And I'm just thinking to myself, as far as that whole fight that happened, what happened to shooting a fair one? Like back in the day, People did like a one on one, and even if there was a crowd around, they let the two people who had the issue right. fight, 
and then when right. you saw it getting a little too okay so now you break it up but it wasn't like 10 people jumping in you let the two people who have the issue go right. at it and get it out your system and then maybe the next day they're like best friends but and you got it out your system day and, yeah. you know now my thing is the 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 girls who you know jump the one girl it's like you could have killed her yeah she she could have she could have yes, died easily you know i mean if you hit her in the wrong spot on her head or right. whatever and you kicked her in the that she stomped on her head right that was serious yeah and then it's like you know nobody's trying to hold this girl back you know it, i just didn't get it so mm-hmm. with that being said i mean we have to do better. <laughs> we have yeah, to do better. That's true. Um, and you know, I know that things are different now than from like when we grew up, but it really it just hurts to see it. Because I don't have any children personally myself, but my nieces and my nephews, those are my kids, you know, right. and I would be damned if I stood by and watched right. any of my kids like no. Because I'm fighting too. Like I guess I'm just gonna get beat up too. Because I'm jumping in. I'm gonna try to stop it. You're not gonna. It's not gonna. It's not gonna happen in front. You're not gonna do that in front of me. No parent can swallow that. No No parent can swallow that child. It, it is, it's, it's, not only, it's not only fighting, it's just no parent wants to see their child suffer no. in any type of way, you know? Yeah, okay, I think we need some pick-me-up, um, <laughs> because that was a little heavy, but we're going to come back. Um, I think, ahead, well, since we have Caribbean people in the house, yeah. they should love her, you know, I know you know what to do, so we're going to let him take over, and we're going to wind up just a little bit off here. 